thought I'd do a quick video showing you some tips and tricks for your escape TV box uh, this is going to be a real quick one um, just want to help you get the most out of your Android TV device start off here at the home screen I'm going to go into your settings make sure you connect to your Wi-Fi you can go into other settings more settings and go on down and make sure that you set up your date and time select automatic date and time and then go in and select your time zone in this case we could you could select mountain time central central time eastern time back out of there either hit with your back button or your escape button and go on the way back to your home screen now to begin to watch all of the content that's available for you on the escape tv box you want to go into cody and give it a little bit of time to lo load there just to escape too fast and easy build a lot of the add-ons are actually working in um, good quality add-ons here give it some time to load uh, sometimes add-ons need to update and things like that you don't want to jump in there and go too quick you might freeze and you have to unplug your box and plug it back in one of the first things I like to do is make sure that the volume is up in within Cody and in your actual build. You may have your the volume on your TV up, but if Cody volume could be low, you may not hear your audio too well. So on your keyboard, your remote control or whatever, use the up down volume. You know, you can go down or you can go up. Remember, whatever you highlight, you can select. Um, if you want to watch Exodus TV shows, highlight it, hit OK or enter, and you can begin to enjoy that add on. Right now, in my personal opinion, the best movie add-ons currently are M4U and Exodus. The rest are pretty decent, but by far these are my favorite right now. Uh, M4U plays instantly, and there's some great content in that within that add-on. A lot of um, straight-to-DVD movies and movies that I never even heard of and uh, they're quite enjoyable. Exodus is is probably the best as far as overall quality goes um, but you do have to select uh, links when you um, decide to watch a movie. So just for an example we're going to go into movies And let's just look at the most popular movies. <laughs> well, uh, we'll pick Room. You highlight Room. It is now loading, so it's it's actually um, searching for providers and links for this movie. Now 
There you go, good thing it gives you links, it gives you the quality, 1080p being the best in this case, down to HD. I usually start at the top. If the first does not work, then I will um, pick the second and the third and so on. But typically in Exodus right now, the top link is working pretty well. Um, a quick tip here. We're going to back out of here. If you hit your C button on your keyboard or your menu button, it'll bring up an, a couple of options. One, you can auto play. This will allow you to just play the movie without selecting a link. It's hit or miss whether or not this is going to work. Um, sometimes it works instantly. Sometimes it'll give you an error and will not work. So I prefer to just go ahead and select a link. You can also get movie information where it'll give you a description of the movie by pressing the C button. And you can also choose to watch the trailer. So the C button is very important. Um, don't forget about it. C button or the menu button on your um, remote control. If you're using a wireless mouse, you should be able to right click on the wireless mouse and get the same results. Go ahead and start the movie. As you can see, it started playing right away. Now I'm going to pause this and I want you to see something. If you need more volume, look at the volume button here, select it, and you can select volume amplif amplification and you can increase that. Now there's also something here for when, if the, the character is speaking, but it, it's kind of off with the audio, you can go to your audio offset and you can make adjustments there. I'm not going to do anything now, but if it ever seems like the uh, dialogue is lagging a little bit, you can speed it, you know, slow down the speech or speed it up and get it back on track. Yeah, you shouldn't have to do that too often, but every now and then there's a movie where the mouth is off a little bit. And remember, hit your OK button if you want to play your movie pause your movie, stop your movie, fast forward, rewind, skip ahead. Um, there's just many more options here. We'll probably go over those in a little bit more detail. I just wanted to put a quick uh, video out there for anyone who just recently purchased an Escape TV box and might have some questions. Just a quick look at M4U. We want to select it. Notice we highlighted it and selected it. We'll look at the latest added movies. I like to start there because I, I always want to see new content. And as you can see, there's a variety of movies. Um, this, it also gives you the quality. DVD quality is pretty low quality. I still watch DVD quality movies and they're, they're pretty good, but HD or Blu-ray rip or much better quality. If you see cam, that means it's probably still in the theaters and someone took a camera in the theater and recorded it. You may not like that very much, but you're welcome to watch it in that quality. Just, you know, or you can just be a little patient and wait for a good quality uh, version to come out. 
you can see here this movie is HD so that is better quality than the DVD we always arrow down arrow up or use your cursor whatever you prefer I'm looking for a Blu-ray rip. All of these, which anything that says HD rip is going to be a decent quality movie. If you see TS, that is a little bit better than a cam version, but worse than DVD. Um, sometimes it's worth it, you know, if you're real anxious about seeing a movie, Telesync is okay, not too bad. Um, but once again, HD or Blu-ray is going to be better trying to see if we can locate one here I know there's a couple uh, for instance here you go this one uh, is blu-ray so definitely pretty decent quality um, I can't say that it's gonna be actual blu-ray quality but it's gonna be very good and actually let's play a little bit of this movie as you can see it loads instantly that is the good thing about uh, M4U add-on. Enjoy the As you can see, the quality is pretty good. I'm so. going to go ahead and stop it here, though. So there you go. Pretty good quality there. Um, my favorite thing, once again, about this add-on is the fact that I can select the movie and it will play right away. That is so great. And so many different movies to choose from. It just goes on and on. Um, Watch this one a little bit earlier, one of those crazy psycho babysitter movies, but it was a pretty decent watch. Well, that's going to be it for now. I'm going to go ahead and um, load this onto the uh, YouTube. And uh, if you like the instructional videos that I provide, please subscribe to the page. Uh, follow us on Facebook so you can be up to date with any new information regarding your Escape TV box or add-ons that are installed on it. We'll talk to you soon.